Hey, I'm Hayden with Cricut, and today we're gonna make some magic. Or a decal? Wait a minute, the producer's telling me they're the same thing, making with Cricut and magic, synonymous. The producer's also telling me, take your finger away from your ear because you don't have a headpiece on. Oh, well, let's make it. So today, we're gonna make a monogram for this water bottle. And uh, to do that, we've got our Cricut Explore 3. We've got our Cricut Smart Vinyl. We're using the permanent kind, and we have transfer tape to help apply that. Obviously, we have our water bottle here. We've got our Cricut accessories. We'll talk about these later. We've got design space open here on our connected device so that we can send our designs to the machine. And uh, I'll walk you through each step of the project. So the first step in making a monogram is we open design space and we have a blank canvas. I'm gonna come over here to the monogram maker feature. Um, and up here in the top left, it's telling me to input my initials. So I'm gonna put HSH, which is my initials, but I'm not telling you my last name because I don't want you to find me. <laughs> and uh, there's lots of options here. We've got classic and thematic. Um, I'm gonna stick with classic just because I'm gonna use one type of material. But you have options here. You have modern, elegant, handwritten, and vintage. I'm kind of a modern aesthetic kind of guy, so I'm gonna look through here. I like this first one. Looks really good. I think that'll look good on the uh, water bottle. So I'm gonna select Add to Canvas, and here I got my monogram that's just uh, dropped in. Uh, looks good. All right, so I'm gonna change the size because I want it to be a little bit bigger on my water bottle, so I'm gonna go to the width here and input 2.25. I'm gonna hit Enter, and yeah, that's a pretty good size. Uh, just for continuity, I'm going to change the color from black to this teal that I have for my material color. We've got our material color selected, and uh, I'm gonna come over here and select Make It. All right, so we've got this prompt that just came up that's asking me how I wanna load my materials in the machine. Since I have Cricut Smart Vinyl, I'm gonna select Without Matte. And then I'm gonna select Continue. And here I have my design previewing on the material. Everything looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna select continue. And design space is connecting to the machine. Here on the popular tab, we have a bunch of options for materials. Because we chose without matte, it's just gonna show you the smart materials. So I'm gonna select smart vinyl permanent. For step two, for load tools and materials, design space is telling me to load the fine point blade and to load my material. Um, I've already got the blade loaded in here in clamp B. So I'm just gonna take my smart material and load it in here underneath the guides on both sides and up to the rollers. You can see here that the load button is flashing, prompting me to press it, and it's gonna load my material in. Right now what's happening is Explore 3 is making sure I have enough material loaded for the project. All right, now Design Space is telling me to press go, and the machine is flashing the go button. So I'm just gonna press that, and we're gonna start cutting. Now we wait. Cue the elevator music. <laughs> we are done cutting. Design Space is telling me to unload the material. The machine is also flashing the unload button. So I'm gonna press that and I can take my material out. And uh, I just wanna make sure that everything cut okay. So you can bend the material against the light just to check and everything looks pretty good here. So, so I'm gonna trim this down. I'm gonna use our Cricut scissors. So I've got these right here, and I'm just gonna pick it up and cut around the outside of my design. All right, I can discard this off to the side, and uh, safety first. I've got my Cricut weeder tool here, and I'm just gonna remove the excess material that's not part of my monogram design. So, just gonna set this over here. And I'm just gonna peel away the material from the backer. And I can just take my hand and start to pull away. And pick up my weir tool. Just come in here, remove the negative spaces.
or as my therapist says, negative energy. All right, I'm just gonna remove that like so. So I'm gonna get rid of all this uh, excess material and just put it over here. So now I have my uh, monogram initials and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Now, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna take our Cricut transfer tape and I wanna cut off a little piece about the size of the decal. So, I'm just gonna eyeball this and uh, I'm gonna cut along these grid lines that we have printed on the transfer tape backer. It's pretty helpful. The transfer tape helps us take this decal off of the backer so that I can apply it to the water bottle. If only we had a tool that I could peel this away with. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my weeder tool again and I'm just gonna peel back the corner of this transfer tape backer. Good graces. Just got my nails done, so uh, it's kind of tricky, but we'll get it. So what I like to do is just take off the top part of this backer on the transfer tape, and it makes it easier to apply to my decal. So here I've got it placed on the backer of the smart vinyl, and I'm just gonna peel away, and it's going to apply itself on top of my monogram. Now, uh, I've got our Cricut Scraper tool, uh, and this is a technique called brandishing. Burnishing? This is Russell brandishing. <laughs> Run rubbish, <laughs> it's rubbishing, yeah. <laughs> On a Tuesday, isn't it? So I've got my Cricut Scraper tool, and I'm going to use a technique called burnishing that's just gonna apply my vinyl monogram to the transfer tape. So you just wanna scrape across the top Make sure you get all the areas of the decal. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Basically, I just wanna make sure that my decal sticks to the transfer tape, so with the next step, I can remove this backer and then apply it to my water bottle. So I'm just gonna flip this over and I'm gonna peel the backer away from the transfer tape. And you can see here, beautiful. For the next step, I'm just going to, uh, like magic, apply this to the water bottle. I mean, that's pretty magical, but uh, I'll show you how to do it for real. <laughs> so now I've got my water bottle, and I've got my monogram decal, and I'm just going to eyeball this for placement, but uh, I think I want it to be on the top third of this water bottle, and that looks pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna use my thumb and press down on the design just to make sure it applies all the way. So now that I have my monogram decal applied, I'm just gonna gently peel away the transfer tape and uh, looks great. Here it is, my monogrammed water bottle with my initials. Looks pretty good. And uh, the great thing is with Cricut Smart Vinyl Permanent, I know that this is water resistant, dishwasher safe, lasts a long time, and uh, because it's permanent, I can't change my name. So there it is. This is an example of one of the many great projects you can make with Cricut. Uh, why don't you go make your own magic and check out our other videos. Have fun making.